How you guys doing? It's Ace and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make logos for your Fortnite 1v1 maps. A lot of you guys have been asking me for this and it's literally the highest requested video on my channel and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to basically make a logo in your Fortnite 1v1 map. Before the video starts, I'm pretty sure I'm the first person on YouTube to actually make a tutorial on how to make good logos. So if you guys can, please drop a like and 90% of you guys are not subscribed. So you guys need to go ahead and drop that subscribe button and if you guys do subscribe let me know in the comments I'll shout some of you guys out in the next video. Let's try to aim for 50 likes and let's start with the video. So the reference logo that I'm going to be using for this tutorial is my million 1v1 map. So this is the logo basically that I made. I suggest you guys making a grid island first before you guys putting it you know in any map that you guys want. This video I'm basically going to give you guys tips and a lot of things that you guys need to know on how to make logos. So the first thing you guys need to know is let's say this is the logo I'm trying to make. I'm going to take the logo, this logo right here, and I'm going to put it into Photoshop or anything else. And I'm going to put it behind the grid. I'll try to put an example up on the screen right now. The reason we're doing this is to make the logo as accurate as possible. If you guys want to get the logo as close as possible to the original logo, you guys need to do this. So I'm going to put up an image right now. You guys just see what it looks like and what I mean by that. Next thing you guys need to know if the logo is symmetrical. As you guys can see, this logo is symmetrical. If you guys cut it down the middle just like this, then you guys could basically going to get the same portion from each side. So if the logo is symmetrical, just build one half. So for this logo, all I did was build this side and then I copied it and I rotated it to build this side. I'm going to show you guys how to do those in a little bit. So to make this logo, this is what I did first. I first went to my gallery and found the cube gallery, the large cube gallery. The reason we're using the cube gallery is because I really like the reflective block that they have. So this is the one that I used. All we're gonna do is basically open it. So the block that I use for this map is this block right here. I usually use this block or this block. For the Millium logo, I thought this block would make the most sense. So this is the block that I used. So to start off the logo as you can see there's like a little corner right here All I did was bring the logo down just like this rotate it uh, Rotate it two times and place it just like this and as you can see we got that corner right there And now to basically make the logo just like this and pull it up just like that All I did was basically take this cube and first what I'm gonna do is rotate it to the correct way that I want the logo to go which is just like this and after that I'm just gonna literally just extend the width of it as much as it could go as you can see it does not fit correctly to the first cube so what you guys need to do is change to grid snap 32 and after you guys do this just try to get it as close as possible as you can see this is the closest and it will go so what you guys need to do now is actually turn off grid snap and just do this by hand as you can see just get it close as possible it's not going to be perfect it'll never be perfect unless you spend like hours on it which i'm not going to do right now just just to show you as you can see this is as close as i could get right now all you can see is this crack right here you can see a little bit of it but it's not that big of a deal because from far away you can't really see it so as you guys know i'm going to make a miniature version of this logo over here so the next thing i need is this platform right here all i did was turn it just like this and I just made it longer obviously my measurement isn't correct right now I'm just going off the visual when you guys are doing this you guys are going to look at the grid that you guys put the map on and basically try to get it as close as possible to the exact size and measurements right now I'm not gonna be doing the exact size cuz I'm just showing you guys a tutorial but as you can see for this logo I use literally the exact size that I could find and everything is like perfect so after you do this what you guys need to do is to basically get these together you guys can't really you know push it up like that it does not work so to fix that all you guys need to do is come right here we're gonna do the same thing as we did before change to grid snap 32 move it up just a little move this we're actually gonna move this side just a little just like this and as you can see we're not going to be able to get the same size as before so what we need to do is put grid snap off again select it and just move a little forward do not move your analog stick or anything just try to move it as small as possible and as clean as possible 
So the next thing we need to do for this logo is basically bring this block out right here. This is pretty simple. All I did was get this block right here, put it to grid snap two, and I just rotate it. So since this map is symmetrical, I want to copy this side and put it all the way to that side. So so the length of this block right in front of me is going to be up to right here. So you guys could get like a reference of it. You guys don't have to be exact because you guys could change it in the end. But this is basically how far I need to make my logo. So for this map, I did a little adjustment. I just had to change some of the sides and stuff. But basically, I got it to where it looks kind of good. Obviously, I didn't spend a long time on it, so it doesn't look perfect. But this is basically what your map going to look like. Always try to make your map so you make the outside first. So basically, all I'm doing is making the outside of the map. Then I'm just going to fill the inside of the map. So I have the map done right now. I have the outside of one part. And right now, all I'm going to do is copy it, put it to grid snap 32 and just rotate it. As you can see, I just literally just rotated the map and all I'm gonna do is place at first right here. And then I'm gonna select it one more time, come back right here and try to get it even as possible. It's not gonna happen because both of them are literally different sides. And since you guys rotated, it, it's not gonna be perfect, but just try to get as close as possible to perfect. So as you guys can see, I got it as close as possible. Obviously everything isn't perfect as you can see this right here. I have to obviously go back and if, when you guys are making the logo, you guys need to go back and literally fix everything. So over here, since it's not perfect, I need to change the grid snap to off again and try to make it as perfect as possible. I'm not gonna spend time on that right now because I'm obviously just showing the tutorial. All you guys need to do now is fill the inside. Just choose the same block that you guys did before. And what I like to do is basically without just covering it with blocks I just like to extend one block just like this so I don't have to use multiple blocks So the next thing I want to be showing you guys is how to actually add the lights that are right here. Most of you guys don't know how to add it and it's pretty simple, but in some map it does take a long time to put, but on this map it didn't really take that long to put. So all you guys gotta do is go to your gallery right here and then just find this light right here and this is the one that I use. And all we're gonna do is come back down. I'm not gonna show the full thing because it does take, you know, still 20 to 30 minutes to put all of the lights in if you wanna do it perfectly. It might even take longer depending on the map but all I did was basically take this and I just rotated it and so basically I'm gonna put it right here in top of this um, to do that I'm just gonna change to grid snap 32 It's really helpful to change to grid snap 32 and what you guys need to do is basically make it big enough where it'll stick up on the top just like this just a little all I did was increase the height and now I'm gonna increase the length so okay that's not the length now I'm going to increase the length so it'll go up all the way. And this is all I did. I'm just going to put it back down a little bit. And this is all I did. And I just did this to the whole map. This to the whole map. Obviously, you guys need to take your time on it so you guys can get it perfect. It's even correctly. But this is basically how you're supposed to do it. And to do these sides right here, all I did was literally just get this right here. And try to rotate it. And try to get as perfect as possible to this. Just like that, I got it perfect as possible. And obviously we just gotta extend it and try to make it perfect and go all the way around. So the last thing that I'm gonna be showing you guys is actually how to add these lights that are on the corner right here. So to add these lights are literally simple, just like these lights. All I'm gonna do is take the lights that I use for these and I'm just gonna rotate it just like this. And, but this time without increasing the height I'm actually going to be increasing the width so all I'm gonna do that's not the width I'm gonna be increasing the width just like this until I could obviously see the width and as you guys can see it's right on it I could uh, push it back just a little bit more just like this and as you can see it's right on it and all you guys gotta do is continue with this all around the whole map 
So I'm just trying to do this side right here. All you guys need to do is take this, just rotate it. The same thing we did before is literally simple. And all you guys need to do is take this, put it just like this. And you can see we just did the side. And you guys are gonna do this all the way around. And I did the same thing to the bottom part. Literally, without putting in the top, you just put it in the bottom and it's perfect. So those are basically all of the stuff that you guys need to know on how to make a logo in your 1v1 map. I gave you guys a lot of tips. Something else that you guys need to know, to make logos that are curved, I made a couple of logos that are obviously curved. It is way harder than to make logos that are straight. This logo is pretty straight, so it is easy, but if logos, I'll show some examples right now of some logos that has a lot of curves, and it's literally impossible or is really hard to do. So if you guys have logos that are with curves, just know that there's an advanced technique which I'm not gonna show in this video that you guys could use to make that logo. If you guys do wanna see that advanced technique, get this video to like 200 likes and I'll show you guys how to make an advanced logo with curves and everything. And that will be it on how to make a logo for your 1v1 map. You guys could literally make any logo that you guys want. If you guys take the time and do exactly what I said, and if this video gets 200 likes, I'm going to be showing you guys an advanced technique that you guys could use in order to make logos. If you guys are new, drop a sub. 90% of you guys are not subscribed, and I'll talk to you guys later.